thank the gods. After decades of death and destruction, we march to victory once again. And riding through Adrissia, I see the common man. His back no longer bent, his frown gone, and a look of hope behind those once dead eyes. These things I haven't seen since I was a boy. The Bessie are humbled. Most of Kabile rallies to our cause, and the Asti lay their swords at our feet. My heart warms to see Thracians united once again. But there is work to do yet. To bring to the fold the wayward tribes who cling to independence like thieves clutching stolen jewels. And worse still, I see them. The Greeks watching from the stolen cities on the coast, built in land that belongs to Thrace. They eye us with fear, fear and hate. But that matters not, for my hate runs deeper than theirs. And if war is made, they are right to fear, for who now wishes to defend them? Lysimachus is dead. Seleucos too, and Antigonus eyes his old enemy, the Epirotes. They are alone in a foreign land. Who will save them? Who now will rally to their aid when they walk upon their stone walls and see thousands of vengeful warriors of Thrace? Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Adrissian campaign in RTR Imperium Sorectum. And last time we did make a very good start. I believe we only start with, what, four, three settlements at the start of the game. And now we have more than three, <laughs> as you can see, guys. Definitely a lot more than three. I did just notice that uh, Kabile still has this uh, piece of land here, which... I don't really want to go and have to take. I'd prefer this episode to get moving down into the east. And if you'll notice, guys, the money is a little bit different from last time because what I have done in between episodes is go around and put the tax rates on as high as possible while they are still growing. So as long as they're still growing and also for the happiness as well, as you can see, very high and it's still on half a percent. When that drops down, we will drop the tax rate down gradually uh, until they are constantly growing. Because we want them always to grow. But at the moment, I would prefer a bit of lower growth just to get a little bit of extra money. Because like I say, money is a big issue for us right now. I mean, this is all the army we do have. So uh, yeah, it's, it's not exactly ideal in terms of the army. And we need to build up some more recruitment hubs so we will start doing that next turn but for now i think that is the end of this turn guys i don't think we've got anything else we need to do so let's press the end turn and let's see what happens well pontic pentapolis want a trade oh, agreement thanks. i think we'll accept that i would like an alliance with these guys because they're going to be quite annoying to take out but it looks like they're not going to accept that except or we will attack now let's just let's just offer we them that no but no uh, obviously so Kabile did attack us up here. What do we have in there? Just some Thracian Peltas. I mean, the thing is, we do have this brand new army ready to go. Or, well, I don't say brand new. This retrained army uh, ready to go. So let's get them out of there. And then we're going to have to pop that down. We'll go and knock them off here. And then I think we'll attack them. So we'll do that in a second. Let's have a look at what else we've got going for us. Got a trait increase, a tuned governor, that's good. In terms of diplomatic information, anything of interest. Chios and Pergamon, that's not too interesting for us. So yeah, nothing too diplomatic going on. Um, but we do need to continue to build up our army. So what do we what are we lacking in here? I mean, with with our generals and those two cavalry units, I think we're okay for cavalry. Honestly, I think we just need more. Uh, Romfire 4, right? they're just so good that we might as well. We also built a lot of um, farms last turn, but I know Bessapara needs to upgrade. So let's go for that in there, and then we really don't have that much money left. Honestly, I'm tempted to build roads. It does reduce our income somewhat, but it's going to be a lot easier moving around our lands if we do have roads. Uh, but I think we still need to just focus potentially on the economy. Or hmm, we could build up 
a recruitment hub here. Let's do that, and let's also do that here. That's going to allow us to build some more troops, especially quickly when we need them. So that's going to be good for us. But let's uh, attack Susas over here. It should be very, very easy. Oh, the classic Rome music is just absolutely excellent, guys, isn't it? I absolutely love this music so much. It is fantastic. We are just going to try and use mainly the cavalry here because, yeah, they really don't have much. Ideally, I don't want my Romfire 4 getting charged by their cavalry. That's the problem here. So, what if we just charge in with the cavalry? I think we'll be good. So, let's do that. Well, here we go. Absolutely shredding the Peltasts with that throw. And that has broken them straight away. There we go. Into the Zista Foray. So, obviously, we don't have that strong a group of men uh, in terms of our cavalry compared to Zista Foray. But we should be pretty darn good. Uh, and I think we can just uh, leave the cavalry in there to fight the rest of this out, guys. Let's uh, charge these guys in just for now. But uh, it should be that should be it done. Well, there we go, guys. We only lost, I don't know, 13 men. Pretty darn good. Um, and, yeah, killed all of that army. So, Kabile, I think we will go and take them out just because they're going to be annoying from now on. So, <laughs> let's go and take them out and make sure they can't do this again. Well, there we go, guys. We are going to come up into this region. This is the issue with the Adrissian start, guys. It's so vulnerable. Like, we have Seleucids below us. We've got Byzantium. We've got Pontic Pentapolis. And you only have enough money to really support one army. So, um, yeah, really only one army. And then you're if, if you get attacked by both sides, you have to bounce around constantly. So that is the vulnerability of this start, which is why I didn't want to go up north here. Because then potentially we're going to border Tylus as well, someone completely different. Um, so the more people we border, the more chance they're going to attack us. Um, but I think we'll be okay for now. I think we can afford to go... And, on a little excursion to Kabile. And then we'll try and look to sort of uh, clean this area out. So we're not bordering Byzantium anymore. And then if Pontic Pentapolis attack us at any point. We will just have to go ham on them. And I think our army composition with the Romfire 4 row should be very, very good against Hoplite. So that should be good. But let's see. Let's press the end turn, guys. Well, Kabile, I don't think that's a good offer. I'm not going to lie. That is a terrible, terrible offer. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll offer it back to you. Uh, I know, that's them becoming our protector. Whatever. Well, I guess we're going to have to forget about Byzantium. Look at that, guys. And they've got two massive armies there, too. That is not good. <laughs> that is really not good for us. Well, guys, we are faced with a choice. There are a couple of things we can do. We can go and attack Kabile. Which I don't think is the option now. What I think is probably a better option is border, like, border stopping these guys. So basically, if we take Apollonia Pontos, they will no longer border Bizia, so they should break the siege there. If they do take Salmadesos, they will still border Bizia. But I think, yeah, that army will not be able to build rams for a couple of turns at least. So I think, yeah, let's get into Pontic Pentapolis then. Big chance that we are going to get attacked by at least one of these armies, which is a little bit scary. Do we take mercenaries? Uh, I'm not 100% certain that's a good idea. We do have some extra troops on the way, which we'll use in a second. Um, but yeah, that is... It is a little bit annoying that they've attacked us this early, but it's okay because it's rich land. If we can dance around them and use our brains, then uh, it should be good. And I think we will take a singular mercenary just in case. And then the rest of our money we can use for building. So let's go into Adrissa. I think we go for the tavern. That half a percent growth is fantastic. Makes everyone happy as well. So let's go for that and then let's have a look at what else we could potentially build probably Coralopolis let's get that in there did we upgrade Bessapara we did fantastic isn't one of these still got yeah that guy needs still repairs over there and then let's just build a trader in there as well so we are building in a lot of settlements actually we've not quite managed to build up our gold mines yet which will definitely help us like 500 income is fantastic for us right now but they do cost a lot i mean the the payment to get back is not bad at all nine tur nine turns which is fantastic but um 
yeah, we just don't have quite enough money each turn to drop that amount of money on something like that. So let's press the end turn. Let's see what happens with this army. Like, potentially it could attack anywhere. But if it was going to attack, if it was clever, the AI was clever, they should come and attack us here. But let's see. And now the Gete want trade rides as well. Oh, <laughs> like, literally everyone is going to, uh, is going to uh, hate us and attack us. Um, yeah, okay. It's very demanding because they are allied with Pontic Pentapolis. That's a little bit scary. I don't want to be fighting the Gete right now because very likely they'll have horse archers in their roster, which is not good for us with our little armor. Well, it does turn out that Pontic Pentapolis is rather dumb, my friends. So... That's one good thing for us. Do these guys... These guys do have rams now, so they potentially... These guys still don't... Oh, they're all... They're all horsemen. That is fantastic for us. That means that they can't actually siege that down properly. Um, but yeah, Pontic Pentapolis being very dumb here. Like, what is that? Like, why would you do that? Um, but okay. I don't mind. It's good for us. Uh, the Belton... Oh, just got upgraded as well. Just as it gets sieged down. We do now have some extra troops... So, let's um, gather these boys together. We'll bring them all the way out there because I do plan on attacking this army after the battle. So, after the siege. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, have a look at what we're going to be facing inside here. Oh, it's it's just Greek Hoplites and Thurio Foroi. Hmm, that should not be too bad at all. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys. Right then, guys, we are kind of in position now. So what we're going to try and do is try and get these guys to fire their javelins across here through this little gap and draw them out. If not, we might try and draw them this way, which it looks like we're doing. We are leading the way with our um, mercenary guys because, of course, we can't retrain them. So they might as well take the damage. These guys need to fire. Are you going to fire, guys, or are you just going to cheer? <laughs> oh, there we go. We're absolutely shredding these 304 right now. Then once they get into this little gap here... Hopefully, they're going to get absolutely ruined by our Javis here. So, uh, there we go. And once we've done that, we can surround these boys and kill them. So, let's see what happens here. Let's see how good we're going to be with the Javis. They should be able to tank a few shots, but we should be able to absolutely shred them uh, once they've lost a few hit points. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's brutal. Get into them. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, my man. Go. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them quick. Kill all of them. Kill them. <laughs> and these guys are already shaken because the Run Fire 4 are so scary. They do scare nearby infantry, don't they? Uh, yeah, frighten nearby enemy infantry. That is the power of it, guys. Look at that. Absolutely brutal. Come on, guys. You need to kill them. Come on. Quick. Let's speed this up. Let's just go and kill them on the, on the town square. And then, once they're dead, they should die pretty quickly because we're armor-piercing, of course. Then we need to uh, fire some jabbies in those boys, and that will basically break them. There we go. Let's uh, fire. No, no, no. Fire. Oh, there we go. They broke anyway. It was just overwhelming numbers. That was a nice little battle, actually. And, and most of our casualties were just the... Um, yeah, 31 casualties were just the mercenaries, which is fantastic. Nice little battle, my friends. The mercenaries did 70. Wow. What, boys? You can see the power of the armor piercing there, guys. Got you. Very nice indeed. Let's go. And I think the best thing for us is to enslave over here. Uh, we will definitely repair the walls. Now, who do we leave behind? Because all of these units are relatively good. I would want to put one of these guys in there. So let's uh, let's have a look at what we want to do here. Um, potentially, probably just the Thracian Peltas, honestly. In a... In a field battle they're not going to be as useful so yeah what do we have in here as well we've actually got mines here which is fantastic very nice indeed making a lot of money um do we want to join up with these boys i think you just go there for now and then let's go for Isias. oh corolopolis did expand as well that's very good i'm gonna pop that in now i know it's a little bit of a waste of money but just so i remember and uh yeah, this is going to be an interesting battle, guys. They have a lot of missiles, which is not good for us because our guys don't have much armor. But no cavalry, really. They've got their own progermoy. So, yeah, I think this should be okay. 
I don't think this will be too bad. So let's go. Our another field battle. And this is a relatively big one as well. This is important. Let's go for Thrace, boys. For Thrace. This night we will feast and drink to celebrate victory. Yes, we will. I promise you that. I also promise you the warm company of appreciative camp followers. But before any of that, Saucy. there's something I'd like you to do for me. What's what's that? Kill kill Greeks? Yes, we we will do it. We will do it. <laughs> we will do it, Roigos. We'll kill Greeks for you. Don't worry about that. Let's go. Well, this is perfect for us, guys. We actually get a the uh, the run fire four. get a bonus in woods. So um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I think the main thing for us though in this battle is going to be taking out their general. And then we can stack our frightened nearby enemy infantry. I think, honestly, once the general is dead, they are just going to crumble. So, that is the main plan. Oh, and they actually um, they actually just came and sat on the road. That's fantastic for us. Are they going to try and get up this hill? Do they not know that my troops are very fast? Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's try and block them off, then. So, we did take a little bit of a hit from one of the men there. Uh, one of their Javi boys there. The uh, Greek Peltasts. That's fine. We are just going to continue coming forward. Hopefully, we'll be able to... Uh... Oh, no. They're going to come forward, are they? There we go. Let's go with that. We're also going to just take you guys off that. And let's see if we can get rid of this Prodromoy here. Because they're getting absolutely shredded. And then we can switch around to this side. And go and kill, um, go and kill their general. Here he comes. He's just going to charge anyway. What a boy. There we go. These guys should be scared, intimidated by nearby enemy infantry. We didn't even get any javelins off there. That's a bit shocking, honestly. A couple of guys did, actually, but uh, not too much. We don't want to have to fight their Thurio Foroy or anything like that. So we're just going to go in the back and try and break uh, all their missile boys. There we go. Straight into the slingers. And then maybe we can go and kill their general, who's down to two men. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. They should all start breaking now. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of the way. The Prodromoy are coming, guys. The Prodromoy are coming. Not something that's too intimidating, I'm not going to lie. But um, they should want to break very, very quickly. Look at that. There we go. The whole line has crumbled. Some of you, you just need to hold these boys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys out to take out them. And we're going to just use our general to fight now. You guys get there, maybe... There we go. And then we'll use our general just to fight. Broke the Prodromoy straight away. So here we go, boys. This should be easy to break these boys as well. Let's kill that Thurio Foroy. Let's go for the Greek Hoplites here. Let's rally the men as well. I knew as soon as the general was dead, they were going to crumble. Here we go. Oh, they've already broken. They've already broken. That is embarrassing for them. Bloody hell, Greeks. Bloody hell. Well. <laughs> oh, it's fun using Runfire 4, my friends. I absolutely love it. Let's go. <laughs> yes, boys. Cheer away, boys. Cheer away. Let's get a bloody war cry going for the boys. Let's go. Oh, that's that's cool. Let's go, boys. Good victory, my friends. Good victory. You did very well. Well done. You've got fire on your face, my friend. You might want to watch out for that, but... Well done. Anyway, if that's what you want to do, fine. <laughs> wow, that is the power of the Thracians. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's go. We literally lost like less than 100 men. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Come on, the boys. Look at this. Atrician Hippocontisti, 200 kills, obviously chasing down the men. But the Romfire Foroy, some Awesome KDs there. If you got that in COD, guys, you would be very, very happy. So, well done, Romfire Foroy. Absolute beasts. Now, the question remains, what do we do now? Um, I mean, we could go and try and take out that army. But I think we just put the pressure on their cities. I mean, Ankylos is only a town. Mesembria is a large town. Their capital, obviously, is just up here, isn't it? So, yeah... I mean, I'm not too scared by these um, by these guys. I think we push one more because basically, hmm, at the moment, yeah, if we've got that, they border here. They will still border here, but I think we just push on a little bit. They've got three in there, only two in there. No general. Uh, oh, no, they do have a general in that one. So let's, uh, let's get going. 
And uh, yeah, we'll continue. Oh, look at Tylus. Tylus has got a bit of an army going. Um, but that's fine. Uh, we, we were already bordering them and they haven't declared war on us just yet. That is famous last words, isn't it, guys? Um, let's have a look for anything we can maybe build with that thousand we got from the battle there. Uh, I'm not too bothered about worrying about temples for now. So yeah, we'll just save that cash and uh, let's press the end turn and let's see what Pontic Pentapolis do. Well, a candidate for adoption, my friends. Absolutely, we're going to do it. Take that. Very good indeed. Then you can go and govern one of these cities. Ideally, Apollonia Pontos when we get to it. Um, but for now, that's fine. Let's drop you guys in there. And yeah, so they are still somehow sieging down Bizia. Even though they don't border it anymore. How many turns left? Three turns. We've still got time. But yeah, they definitely don't border it. I'm sure they don't border it anywhere. Um, so, a bit strange how they are still sieging that down. Because normally when you don't border it anymore, they're going to abandon the siege. Maybe it'll just take an extra turn to tick in. But um, that's fine. We're now a regional power, so we don't get as much money. Oh, no. I need more money. Please, give me money. <laughs> um, what are these guys doing? These guys are just chilling. They're having a little, uh, little bit of fun in the back country. Uh, what do we got here? Toothras. Well, I think what we'll do, we'll take Ankylos, then we'll destroy that army, and then we'll go to Mesembria. I mean, if... Oh. Oh. Okay. That's changed things. That is now a proper army. They have just taken all the mercenaries. Thanks for that, boys. That's really appreciated. Um, let's keep on recruiting over here. Did we get anything built this turn? We did a few things. So, Suthopolis is now upgraded. Fantastic. That's going to allow us to then upgrade some of these things. I think, honestly, we could go for the mines. Is there any corruption here? There's no corruption whatsoever. So, that would be fantastic. That's all of our money gone. I think investing in that now is probably a good idea while we are on the offensive and we don't need to retrain any men so let's go for this battle first should be nice and easy but you never know with siege battles guys you can always just make one mistake and lose a load of troops but uh let's see well the one thing we've got to be careful of here guys is the fact that um if their general attacks our guys that are not supported by cavalry they will still do an absolute load of damage so, um, splitting the men up like this is okay. In fact, what we'll probably do is leave you there, and then we'll group you guys together. So, there we go. So, we're not in the danger zone. And, yeah, we're going to try and just draw them off the town square, as usual. <laughs> and as expected, they did decide to charge our men. But, of course, we've got our mercenary guys at the front. Because, like I say, that's where uh, all of the damage is going to come in. So there we go. He's going to just try and get around us. But we should be quite good against his general's bodyguard once the charge is done. Because, of course, they do have very heavy armor. So what I would like you guys to do is just come slightly forward. So that you can drag these Greek hoplites off here. Uh, cavalry, do we want to go all the way around? It is quite a long way. So we'll just bring you here for now. And I would like you guys to fire at them. No, no, no. Don't run. Just fire at them. That's that's the thing. Don't run, you idiots. Just fire at them, for God's sake. Like, what are they doing? That is the most stupid pathing I've ever seen. Are you guys going to fire, or are you just going to stand there? Fucking fire. Like three javelins. You idiots. Come on. Hurry up. There goes their general. There we go. These guys are already shaken. We're just losing so many men to their javelins because our guys won't fucking fire. Fire! You idiots! <laughs> I know they're like behind and all that sort of thing, but um, right, just everyone just get here and stop being imbeciles. That would be good. Yeah, just get there. Hopefully you should be able to fire some javies into them. There we go. Here come the Greek hoplites. I don't mind the, uh, the Peltas staying on the town square because they're uh, pretty crap. So there we go. There's the Greek hoplites. You guys charge into them. You guys charge into them as well. And like I say, I don't mind the uh, 
the, the Peltas being on the town square because they'll be easy to kill. There we go. Broken all of them. Right, guys. Just, like, all the tactics are done now. <laughs> it's, it's just mob mentality. Let's kill these Peltas. God, they're, they're not dying as quick as I would have expected. Come on. This should be really easy to kill, guys. You have massive swords. These guys have got tiny swords. You've got the big swords, my friends. You should be able to kill them very easily. Come on. And like I say, like a couple of mistakes or some pathing issues and you can lose like <laughs> over 100 men for no real reason. We lost more men in this battle than we did in the field battle against 1,000. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. But anyway, it's fine. We've still got a nice healthy army. So well, let's get off this. And I think for Ankylos, let's just occupy because it isn't exactly a very large place to start with. Um, so yeah, that is good. Let's now go and kill Captain Toothras. Captain Toothless, as we like to call him. But um, um and do we do we have enough movement there? Right, we do with them. So let's take everyone but the long spearmen. And we should still be able to attack them here. There we go. Good. That'll be all our movement done, though, I believe. So, what do they have? What is that? Getic Light Infantry. Oh, that's crap. Uh, Zista Foroy, and that is the only cavalry they have. So, yeah, we should be absolutely peachy here. Let's go. What is up with them just taking the weirdest starting positions? Like, our starting position was here, looking that way. And they decided to be all the way over here. They think this hill is going to save them? Well... I mean, they can try, but <laughs> they're still going to run like bitches. We're going to take a couple of jabbies here, but we are just going to keep on charging through. And then hopefully our guys here should be able to get their javelins off this time, unlike last time. And we're going to move our cavalry in a second. Where is their Zistaforo, though? It is hidden currently. Guys, will you fire? Like, how fucking long does it take you to fire? Fire! Jeez, man. Jeez. Takes so long for them to fire. Why does it take you so long? Fire! There we go. Now let's go. Let's just charge. And then we should be good. And they shouldn't be able to fire much more. Where is that Zistafora unit, though? That is what I'm slightly worried about. Oh, there it is. Well, hello, Zistafora. Time to get you killed. Let's get the, uh, the generals around this side. That is going to really damaged this unit. Yeah, it's absolutely ruined them, to be honest. Uh, but the Zistafora has absolutely died as well. So let's just get in there. You guys are going to go around the back. There we go. We should be able to ruin those boys now. The rest of these guys should be good. Yep, they've uh, they've broken those Greek hoplites already. Let's just keep on going. There goes the Zistafora routing. Hopefully we can kill him, because that is a better morale debuff. There we go. Right then, boys. Into the action. This is the fun part. This is where you get to run down everyone. There we go. Everyone's broken. There. Oh, they just all broke anyway. <laughs> nice. That morale shock of our units is insane. Um, yeah, it's, it's rather fun, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go. Well, there we go. Very nice. If that Zistaforia hadn't been hidden, fair play to the AI. That was actually a very good tactic from them. They did a very good job of it. But uh, yeah, overall, a great little victory again, my friends. Let's go. We are just mopping up Pontic Pentapoli and armies. And there we go. We've got nowhere else to run, guys. So uh, let's uh, end the turn there. I am hoping that this gets, like, stopped. But uh, they do have rams now, so they might actually take this. And we might have to bounce back and take it back. But uh, let's see, guys. Let's press the end turn. Well, they did stop sieging down Bizia, but they moved up to the north here. This is their faction leader as well, Nicaretos the playwright. He's actually a pretty decent, decent boy. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of things we could do here. We could just go straight for Mesambria. We could fight these guys, but honestly, guys, I don't really want to fight this army because it's all cavalry, and especially the horse archers. They are going to be impossible to deal with, to be honest, um, with the army composition we have, um, which is not set up for fighting cavalry. It's more set up for fighting hoplites. So, yeah. I just... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't think it's worth fighting them. I think we'll take too many losses. I'd rather just ignore that army and go up north. So, let's do that. Let's keep on sieging. We can actually see 
north. They've got some more armies here. If we can get a draw out battle there, that would be amazing. Um, then this is a Thracian settlement, and they go all the way up to about here. Depends whether they've um, expanded at all, is the other thing. The Gete might attack us if we continue up the coast here. But um, that's okay. No problem with that. Someone also has uh, done this. Yeah, Byzantium have declared war on us. Great. So this is this is the issue, guys, as I was talking about before. Like, we have to just bounce between places, like, so much in this. Because it's so circular and we border so many people. Like, people will just declare war on you all the time. Um, ceasefire between Bithynia and Seleucids. Fair play, um, Bithynia. That's a good idea for you guys to get a ceasefire there. So let's move this guy out to Apollonia Pontos. He makes them unhappy. How unhappy are they now? They're incredibly unhappy, actually. Ooh, maybe maybe not the one. What if we swap that around? Go there. Actually, that yeah, this guy just this guy makes people incredibly unhappy. Why? What are you? What are your traits, my friend? Scant support. Like why? Like, I don't get it. He doesn't have that many bad traits. But yeah, they're just incredibly unhappy with him. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit annoying, especially since we're definitely going to get rioting in there now. Well, what we can do next turn is once we've taken Mesembria, we can uh, just pop an extra long spearman in there, which we are still recruiting. We did get those... Um, Oh, this is perfect. Now we can start getting sort of Thracian archers and all that sort of thing as well. Where else did we build it? Was it here? It was. Probably not worth building too much there at the moment. So let's have a look at what we can do in terms of our building, my friends. We are not building in many places. Adrissa would be the next best one. We could also go for the mines here. There are only four turns as well, which is actually insane. So yeah, let's spend... A little bit of cash on that. Diopolis. Nothing. Yeah, that's okay. I'd prefer to be building some land clearances if we do have access to them. Because they're cheaper and they just give exactly the same money as the, as the next level up. Um, so yeah, we could do with some happiness in here then. So we go for the Dionysus. Or do we go for Hero for the law? We don't actually need law. So, let's just go for Dionysus. That should be fine. Glorious. Well, uh, let's um, let's end the turn there, guys. And this has been going okay. I'm just worried about a massive Byz Byz Byzantion army coming, uh, coming from the south at some point. But uh, let's find out whether they do that or not. Oh, and they actually decided to siege this down right away. That's very strange. I didn't... Have they been sieging it for more than one turn that's interesting though so i'm just gonna go on the battlefield guys and then just try and shoot them as much as possible and hope that the ram burns but i don't think the walls are quite good enough for that so let's see well, unfortunately i don't think that tower is going to reach the one going for the gates if they do go for the gates yeah this side yeah definitely no way that that happens but yeah, so it's a little bit unfortunate. I don't think there's any point taking our Peltas out because they'll probably rout, um, which is a bit of a shame. But that's okay. We'll just do as much damage as we can and then come off the battlefield. Well, there we go, guys. We killed 41 men. That's that's all. I mean, once the cavalry was in the city, there was not much we could really do. They just died on the town square. But, oh, well. Um, kind of interesting that the AI did that, because normally they wait two turns. Or maybe it has been two turns and I'm just being stupid. That's that's probably the, the main reason, to be fair. <laughs> but uh, let's get off this. Well, the good thing for us now is the fact that we can actually hold all this cavalry inside the city. That's very good for us. Um, of course, we got rioting and a Kylos. What are they up to now? 45%. Well, we'll probably give you maybe these guys let's see whether they make any difference they do actually so that's good and they just occupied the belt on that's good for us anything else interesting on the diplomacy stance no antigone is an Aconanians that allies uh, don't be silly antigone go and take them out bro <laughs> don't be silly um right we'll bring these guys up as well and you guys along join you up together bit dangerous position but it's it's okay uh, we will have our big army around here, so that's going to be fine. 
Uh, do we want to continue recruiting? How many men do we need? I think we go next time. Or we could go for Light Lancers. See, Light Lancers are not good. <laughs> like, their defense is terrible. But they do have a good charge. The thing is, they will just die so easily. I mean, they have the same defense as the Hippocontisti, which is a missile cavalry. So, yeah, let's get a Hippocontisti in there. They're not as expensive either and more long spearmen. Although, do we just want to go for, like, Thracian archers as the um, the governing, like, uh, garrison people? Maybe. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Right, let's have a look at what we want to build. Let's go Madu Tenopolis over here. Yeah, roads. Whether roads are worth it right now, I'm not sure. Um, and also, temples, not necessarily worth it in a lot of these places. So, oh, we could go for sewers in Kabila. Or we go for level 2 recruitment. Which will allow us to get Romfire Foroy, but obviously only AOR Romfire Foroy. So, hmm. Yeah, what do we get? Sicker Cavalry after 75 turns. I mean, we're a bit away from that. <laughs> what do we get for level 3 then? Let's have a look at level 3. Do we get Kabelian Lancers. Hmm, never actually used these guys before. 35 charge is actually pretty insane. 23 defense is good as well. 14 morale is also good. Obviously, they're nothing on the noble cavalry, who are just insane in general. But it's a good AOR unit, that actually. So maybe we will. Let's let's go for that. That's uh, going to be good investment, I think, for the future. Um, anything else worth building around here? Let's have a look temples. Um, I mean, a trader is fine. We'll go for that. Right then, guys. Well, I think we're going to end it off uh, there. Could auto-resolve that, honestly. No, I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, we'll do that at the start of next episode, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next episode when we are going to uh, take Masambria, which is a nice large town, and retake the Belton as well. Uh, and then assess our options. Do we want to go and rush down the rest of Pontic Pentapolis? Or do we want to go on to Byzantion? But I, I guess we'll find out, guys. So I will see you all again on the next video.